Hi, family and friends. This is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Thanks for having me back in today. I'm going to bring you another two-ingredient recipe. This is a pumpkin chocolate chip bar, okay? And it takes two ingredients, and it's so simple to make, and it's so good. And with fall of the year coming, it's, it's a nice treat to have. And two ingredients. What you will need is you will need a can of pumpkin puree. It cannot be pumpkin pie mix, but pumpkin puree. So I'm going to put this whole can of pumpkin puree right here in my bowl. Get it all out here. I love bringing you these cake hacks and simple recipes. These are things that you can throw together in a second and they're really good. And of course you all know how much I love pumpkin and uh, how can you go wrong with chocolate chips. So this, this is a great little recipe to have. Okay, I've got my pumpkin in there. Now I just bought a bag of chocolate chip cookie mix. It doesn't have to be this brand, it can be any brand, okay? So I'm gonna cut the top of this off. I'm gonna put this right in here with my pumpkin. Okay. Now, that's the two ingredients. I made this so many times that I actually put a third one in there. You don't have to put this in there, but I'm going to show it to you. I put a little bit of cinnamon on mine, okay? Just, just a little bit of cinnamon in there. But that really makes it three ingredients. So you don't have to put that in there. All right, now I'm going to stir this all the way around. I'm going to stir it to get it all incorporated, mixed up. Mmm, this pumpkin smells absolutely divine. All right, let me get this all stirred up, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got my pumpkin chocolate chip cookie mix all pretty well mixed up here. I'll scrape it off my spoon, and this extra pumpkin, get that incorporated here too, so. Okay, now I've got my pan, and you don't grease it or do anything to it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this into my pan. My oven's been preheating at 350. And I'm going to put this in my oven for about 20, 25 minutes. So I'm just going to push it right down here in my pan. Scrape it all out. And then I'll pat it down. But let me tell you, this is, this is amazingly good. And you'll be, you'll be surprised how good it is. Now you want to push it down to all the corners and get it all down. And this chocolate melts from the pumpkin. Ah, voila, it's just really, really good. Make sure you get it up all in the corners. Push it down in the middle. Spread it out evenly so you have it all spread out even in your, in your pan here. You don't want it higher in the middle than you do on the sides, so... Okay, that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it, the two ingredients. If you want to put the third one in there, you can. You don't have to. Sometimes I have even gone on top of here and put some more chocolate chips, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to keep it to two ingredients. So my oven's set at 350, so I'll put this in for 20, 25 minutes. And when it's baked, I'll be back to see you. Our pumpkin chocolate chip cookie bar has been cooling, and I'm ready to cut it so you can take a look at it. So it smells wonderful, and I know it's going to be really good. So let's just cut a piece of this, and let's just see. Wow. Look at that. It looks amazing. Now the true test. You know how I love pumpkin, okay? Look at this. It's, it's soft. The chocolate is melted. Oh. It's like eating a, a pumpkin pie with chocolate chips in it. Wow. This is amazing. Mm. Two ingredients. A bag of chocolate chip cookie mix and a can of pumpkin. You really need to try this. This for the holidays coming up. This would be a super hit on any table. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook and subscribing to me on YouTube. You, you just don't know what your support means to me.
I feel like each one of you all are my personal friends and that I consider all of you a part of my family. I feel like that every time that I'm online here that I'm actually coming into your home and you welcome me in and I just so appreciate you being so open and, and, and so wonderful and let me come in there. Till next time this is you in Mexico knowing that I care about you, you take care of yourself and God bless.